Hey, beautiful. So quickly, I wanted to get into this case um, while I have the time, while I have the energy. There was a little boy that went missing. I believe he was only like 20 months old. And this really bothers me because apparently he went missing from his crib. However, the main suspect is his mother. So his mother is the one that reported him missing. And I thought it was a very interesting situation, but I try not to go into these things biased. I try not to even get information before I do any of this spiritual work because it can lead to confirmation bias. So I try to kind of, you know, keep that, that stuff out of my mind a little bit when I'm doing the actual channeling, when I'm doing the actual spirit box sessions, dowsing rod sessions, whatever it is that we're doing. Um, of course, I didn't want to, he was a, he was a little boy. And although I do believe in higher um, sources of consciousness, I do believe and feel in my heart that he has already crossed over into heaven. So what I want to do here is try to get the truth, try to figure out exactly um, where he is. If he is still alive, it is believed that he is gone, but who knows? You know what I'm saying? We could um, get lucky. We can get blessed, but I do not truly, if I'm being real, I don't feel like that's the case. I do feel like he is an angel in heaven already. Um, I've gotten my validation for that personally. So I quickly wanted to tell you guys the channeled messages that I received from Divine. I did um, say many prayers and ask the Lord to allow divine beings of the highest white light to show me what happened in this moment so I can get the truth out to you guys. Um, for Quentin, his name is Quentin Simon. He was a beautiful little boy and I feel terrible about him going missing in the first place and possibly being gone all right so the first thing um i want to explain before i go ahead and read off these channel messages is when i do these sessions i literally do many prayers and meditations beforehand to tune in and ensure that i am basically ready to receive these messages and get into that um vibration so to speak so the divine can actually give me these messages show me these things now i am an open i don't want to say conduit but i am an open source so to speak so it can very well be spirit i'm not sitting here guaranteeing that everything i'm getting is from divine but what i am telling you guys is with my greatest intention i try to only receive my messages from divine um and that's the same with these channeled messages so I see some things, I get direct voices sometimes, um, but in this particular channeled session, it seemed as though I got more actual visions than anything else, which is, I actually prefer visions because it's easier for me to decipher, obviously, if I'm seeing what's happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and start reading them off. I see Quentin crying, his mother calms him then he immediately starts crying again. His mother's tone and frustration seems to change and grow. Um, the next thing that I got was I see Quentin's mother slap him in the face and he begins to cry louder. Now she literally hits him. And as I said um, in the first message here, I saw him crying and he was like crying profusely. I think he was, um, I don't know if this was just on this day or if he usually did that but keep in mind guys he was only 20 months old so she was still relatively new to this trust me some people don't have that mother gene i'm not trying to throw any shade or anything at this at anybody i'm just saying that it's a possibility that she got frustrated with him and that's what i am picking up here so i then see his mother put him in a crib closing him into a room. So she puts him in a crib after slapping him. From what I'm seeing, I, I'm dead serious, guys. I see her slap him across the face. I think she wanted to like spank him maybe or just make him stop crying, but it made him start crying even more. So she put him in the crib and closed the door. And I see that very clearly. And everything in this house is dark. So she can still hear him crying and looks as though she's sweating and sleep deprived. Now there was a moment after I seen her put him in the room that I actually opened my eyes, I wrote this down. And then after a few minutes, 
as I was closing my eyes, getting ready for the next message, I actually, 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 actually saw her like sweating almost and like breathing weird. And it was like a weird look in her face, like almost, um, it didn't look natural. It didn't look, I don't know how to explain it guys without sounding weird, but she looked crazy as hell basically is what I'm trying to say. Um, I don't know what was going on. Like I said, she did look sleep deprived and she was sweating. So um, I'm not a doctor or health professional or anything. So I don't know, maybe somebody knows what that could be. But um, yeah, it's interesting because the next thing I saw was she then walks into the room. She then walks into the room and she begins strangling him in his in his crib now i did not want to see that at all and it, yeah guys i think he's i think he's gone um based off of all the visions that i got now i did this purposely before my spirit box sessions before my dowsing rod sessions with you know pertaining to this case so that you guys can see the validation and i can see the validation as well because i don't know what i'm gonna get i don't have any control of what comes out of the spirit box of what answers i get with the dowsing rods that's why i do everything right in front of you guys so and she looks so like like i said the same look that she had in her face and that weird sweaty profuse look that she had before she even walked in the room um and did what i saw her do yeah, so after that, um, she began crying. I saw her crying. She grabbed him and was curdling him because it's almost as if she had snapped out of whatever mental state she was in, um, which was actually like, I don't understand this. I don't understand it, but this I just go with what I see and I write it down and I present it to you guys. I don't quite understand the emotion of somebody doing that and then kind of like you know what i mean but then again i don't know if this is something deeper because it does feel very dark something around her and something around this case feels dark and like i said that blue dark blue tent type thing that i see in these visions is kind of giving me a weird vibe i don't see that normally um so i see her like i said take him into a car and then I could see a body of water right after. I don't see anything after I see him being put in the car. Um, and it almost looks as if she put him where she normally would have, as if he was alive, like a car seat or something like that. So if she were to get pulled over or something like that, she could be like, oh my gosh, she's gone. And I do believe again that she strangled him. That's what I saw. So, you know, right away, you're not going to be able to tell obviously in that situation. And I just called 1111 when I said that. Interesting. So, um, yeah, I believe that he is in, based off of what I saw in my vision, I believe he is possibly in a body of water. And I do believe that she tied something around his body and quite literally walked him into the water. He was only one years old, not that heavy. Um, whatever she tied to him probably had to be, what, double, triple his weight, which yeah it's pretty heavy but in the water keep in mind things are a lot lighter and i do see her literally walking in i don't know if there is any bodies of water near her or you know anywhere around this area i know little to nothing about the case and i like i like it like that because it leaves out confirmation bias so i don't feel any other energies around this i don't feel any um, male energies around this apparently her father I mean, his father, sorry, his father doesn't even live in the area. And I do know that the police checked him out and he was dismissed as a suspect. And it's interesting because I don't feel him um, anywhere near this at all. Almost as if he's hardly in the picture. Um, and I don't even know if that's true, so. Another thing that I guess I'll see over time as I look more into this and um, get answers in the spirit box sessions, in the dowsing rod sessions, whatever other sessions we decide to do here. But 
yeah, I think I'm gonna end it off there. That's that's everything I saw. That's every message that I got. I didn't get any like direct messages this time around. And um, that's because I'm not meant to, I guess, you know, whatever messages I get is what I get, but I do believe he is gone. Um, I do believe that, and again, this is all based off of this channeled message. This is not based off of anything else other than this channeled message. And I truly believe in everything I get. So with that being said, I do believe he's gone. I do believe his mother um, is the one that is possibly responsible. And I'm going to just leave it there. So I love you guys. I am going to dig into this a little bit more. I'm going to do a few more sessions. Yeah, so it's getting windy. I don't know if you guys can hear me still. I'm going to go ahead and end it. I love you. Bye.